and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Call the Wild. Going to be our next meme tier deck. This is going to be Yetis and Elnux combining together. We're going to be playing this brand new card from Call of the Mountain called the Wild. For the top four cards in your deck, draw each Yeti, Poro, and Elnuk. Then shuffle, shuffle the rest. So we're not doing the Poro part of that. We're just going to be doing the Yetis and the Elnux together. Now there's not a whole bunch of great Yetis and Elnux, so we need to get some more in our deck because there's not actually that many copies. Like for Elnux, there's only three Troop of Elnux, three Bull Elnux. Those are the only Elnux you can play. For Yetis, we're going to have Yeti Yearling, and that's kind of about it. So we need some more Yetis. So we got Averroes and Trapper making some Yetis for us. So those are Yetis and Elnux. So if we need more, then we're going we're gonna to get more. We're going to get counterfeit copies to be putting more um, Enraged Yetis back into our deck, or maybe some of the Elnux, and then also Parade Electro Rig. So with the help of Parade Electro Rig and counterfeit copies, get a whole bunch of those in our deck, and then we get to Call the Wild um, and be able to, to draw a bunch. Um, for, to for top end, we got one War Mother's Call to put them in. We got some Progress Days to get us a bunch of card draw. And we also have Pack Mentality to finish out games, giving all of our Elnux and Yetis plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. For defense, we got some Avalanche, Mystic Shot, and a couple Thermogenic Beams. And that's basically the rest of the deck. We got some Hearth Guards that can also buff up all of the units in our deck. Great with War Mother's Call. We could have a game maybe where we just go like Averroes and Hearth Guard. Um, as like our main win con where we uh, play, parade Electro Rig a bunch more Hearth Guards or something like that and just, you know, go mono Hearth Guard kind of thing. Get everything to be huge, then pack mentality. That's possible. But this this is, you know, like a budget. We're going like budget here on Meme Tier Monday. We got no champions in here. We're going the beginning board, uh, beginning board, beginning emotes, everything. We're going... Budget for Meme Tier Monday, right here. All right, they got Twisted Fate. That's a good card. So we got one champion in this match. All right, we want Bull Elnuk Mulligan because we want to grab that from Troop of Elnux. And I'm going to keep all these. I'm going to counterfeit copies the troops. We'll have double counterfeit copies on the troops to, to try to pull out even more Elnux on turn five. The Trapper does kind of mess with the troop of Elnux a little bit. By us getting this Yeti and the Yeti kind of being in the way. We definitely want to draw this Yeti by the, you know, before um, we play Troop. That's for sure. Otherwise, you know, otherwise we'd know one of the top six cards would just be the Yeti. There we go. What did we catch? So good. Glad we drew that Yeti right here. Since we're wasting our spell mana anyway, should we just Never counterfeit copies right now? All right, we're gonna kill the Twisted Fate. So we're only wasting one spell mana. Basically, the reason to wait on counterfeit copies is because we do not want to draw Troop of Elnux. I'm through waiting. So I'm going to wait, because we do not want to draw the card. We don't want to like play it now, and then we pass and we draw it. So we want to draw something else. Call the Wild. And now we'll go double counterfeit Troop. Boom. And then having the second troop is pretty nice also in hand, so that we can troop this turn. If it's not very good, we can troop the next turn. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Uh, but I guess if we don't have that much room, though, for an awesome troop. But putting a bunch of troop of Elnux in the deck is also good for Call of the Wild. They could find some more troops. I definitely wanted to go right to combat, but we're going to do our thing. You know, we're 
more meme tier money. Let's play this Parade Electro Rig so we can support this Troop of Elnox. Yeah, we want to support that Troop of Elnox. And get more of them in the deck. We play in build rules. <laughs> the problem is we can only go we can only go six across. Where are you going? Back heretic. We can only go six across. Believe or burn. No, because I, I want to just keep drawing Troop of Elnux so that... I like want like a bunch of them in play so that each Troop of Elnux we play... This is Burst Speed? That's kind of weird. Each Troop of Elnux we play, we get more... Troops and everything. Because think, if, if all 40 of our cards were Troop of Elnux, just for an example, then each time we play a Troop of Elnux, it would fill up our board completely. But each card we'd play would just fill up the board completely. That, that seems pretty good. Up for a round or two. Soak it in. Written in stars, twisted fate. A game. Go on, man. Watch the ball, folks. Yeah, what's up, potato? Yeah, that one went five zero. That one was awesome. Yeah, Meet Your Monday is your favorite day because these deck ideas are wild. I know, right? And it's definitely not all. I mean, chat's coming up with a lot of these. They are doing great. And they're just trying to survive and level up Twisted Fate. Many tribes under one banner. The card that we need to draw is Pack Assembly. We have our things plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. Yeah, I guess I could have gone call after Hearth Guard. I, I don't know if that's going to make a difference of having these two things get the plus one, plus one or not. I The reason that I played call right away is... I, because, you know, like, drawing Troop of, e of Elnux or... Like, basically drawing the, the Yetis or the Elnux for, like, my draw step for turn isn't really ideal. So by playing the call, I kind of take a couple more of them out of... Um, out of my deck. Because I want to draw spells right now. We don't need to draw any more units. We want to draw spells. These old eyes still see far. So, yeah, they have enough blockers for all my stuff. They have Twisted Fate leveled up. We need to find Pack Mentality. Um, Thermogenic Beam, kill this thing. Don't need Bull Elnuck. Yeah, I think I think the answer is I don't actually want. Yeah, you know, we just have to draw spells right now, right? We don't want to put more units into our deck, and then we draw them. I guess with how this is, how this is going there with a leveled up Twisted Fate. That's what they're doing, all in on Twisted Fate, with all these pool sharks and everything. Good, that's a good one to burn, that pool shark. That's such a great just chump blocker. Just pick a celestial card from among three. Yeah, that, that should not count as drawing as far as leveling up Twisted Fate, right? Yeah, keep burning cards. I'm a people person. We are going to need some major card advantage. Or pack mentality. Let's 
Soak it in. They have so many cards. I wonder what the numbers would be of like actual cards cast this game between us and them. For truth. Call me a shark. This game has kind of showed how champions are really powerful. You know, like just a day. Compared to all the stuff that we're doing. Finally, pack mentality. Maybe a little late, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe a little late. And get to gold card very easily. Says I don't share. <laughs> All right, so one of our seven sevens is stunned. So they're at eight. This is eighteen overwhelm damage. That puts him to 12, that puts him to 16, and that keeps him alive. Is this what you see? The three mana, five, seven, spell shield, <laughs> twisted fate. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Oh, they took my War Mother's Call? No, they took my War Mother's Call. That's the card, they had one Black Market Merchant that took a card in my deck. That's the one, that's the card the Black Market Merchant took. Lady Luck is smiling. No, I guess this was the card Black Market Merchant took. How'd they take War Mother's Call? I don't know. Anyway, this one's over. That Twisted Fate dominated that game. Completely dominated. Let's see. No, I don't need this either. All right, so as I talked about, it's not, you know, we want Bull Elnux in our deck, but this is a card we don't really want to draw. But we have the Electro Rig that can put them in our deck. So that's good. Hey, Moonlight, my day's been awesome. We've been playing um, our meme tier decks today and doing really well with them. Got a 4 1, got a 5 0. Oh. Yeah, we're having, having a really good day today and having a lot of fun. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Full speed ahead. Not going to Mystic Shot that. We'll just save the save the Mystic Shot. That can get uh, cleaned up by an Avalanche later. Um, which we don't have to do right now. I don't actually want to shuffle Yeti Yearlings in my deck. I don't want to draw more Yeti Yearlings. I 
That's what we must have shot that. I was getting a two for one with that mystic shot. I think with with this hand with these Elnux, I think that's worth doing. didn't block anything. Scared of my pump spells. I don't love them getting the life steal on the Jinx, but you know, we have like the Bull Elnuck that can block it. Could life steal the Green Glade duo. Wanted them to play another thing first before Avalanche. This does mean that I'm not blocking the Jinx, but it gets rid of their lifesteal. We're gonna put these Yetis into our deck. Which isn't as good as with Troop of Elnux, but it's better with Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild. Alright, they're gonna get a lot lot of lifesteal in. Going to get a lot of lifesteal in. There we go. This round. Double troop. It's probably worth playing this before combat. They gotta be just emptying their hands. Yep. Just 18 damage. This would put them down to two. And yeah, they're just taking it. They don't really want. They don't want to uh, block with any of these. Removal. Wow, what a draw! Play something pre-combat. Come on, come on, come on! Don't go to attacks. Don't go to attacks. Awesome. That's going to clean up my whole board also. So we're just going to reset everything. Everyone goes boom! But we'll take the reset of everything. I'll draw a card off Sentry. I got Call of the Wild. So I got two cards. Because uh, the Super Mega Death Rocket's going to kill all of my stuff. But we should have this. Man, that avalanche was clutch. If they would have just attacked first, they would have won this game. Alright, we're going to play Troop of Elmux first. Because we can. We don't get to play Troop of Elnux too much. 
There we go, GG's, one and one. We just gotta see if we get to do something crazy with Troop of Elnux. Oh, this one's different from than what we just played against. We played against a Targon Twisted Fate deck. This is a Freljord Twisted Fate deck. Let's keep these two cards. Let's send the troop back, put it in here where maybe we pull the troop out for free. I like this Avalanche. We kind of saw against them. They put, like, last time, I don't know if this is going to be the same kind of deck, but last time they put a whole bunch of, like, pool sharks and small units that we were able, that, like, Avalanche would have been great to clean up. Not doing a whole lot. Sure. They, just, they turned their Brittle Steel into a health potion. That play. Oh, Starless Seer. That is an awesome card. We fight for one Freljord. Put on the train. Alright, not too bad. Got them down to 17. Like a fish in water. <laughs> hmm. No, it missed. Alright, that's fine. We got the Enraged Yeti anyway. No, I don't think this deck should play Ursine. Basically, I don't think very many decks should play Ursine. We're just not really going to be turning on Plunder. It doesn't really help our Elnox, so it would help out Yeti with the Overwhelm. I would, I would much rather have Warmother's Call over Ursine. As you're saying, that's a card to take out for Ursine. I'd rather just have War Mother's Call. An auspicious season. This is the Battle of Freljord here. We got our Elnux and Yetis, and they're getting frostbitten. An auspicious season. They are keeping their life total pretty high. Let's find some new cards. Zero mana, two threes. All right, we're going to be saving up mana this turn for War Mother's Call the next turn. Most likely. Rex? Not Rex. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah, I think Ursine's a trap card. That's a good description of that card. This is a 5 health. Blocking here to, to turn the coral creatures into three health so like it, it won't survive blocking other things. I guess it'd survive blocking the Yeti Yearling. We got we got so many cards. I'm sorry, Yeti Yearling. I guess you're just gonna you're gonna leave. We got enough cards. We can make that sacrifice.
All right, no more frostbite. GG's, two and one. Without Bilgewater um, and like powder monkeys and, and that kind of stuff, I'm just not a big fan of Stormclaw or seen in anything else. All right, we got Braum and Trundle. We got the attack token and we got a 135. I'm going to just keep all of these. I know progress day is expensive, but I already got a 135 to kind of start off with. And then if, you know, if they're stabilizing and we need to draw a bunch of cards later, progress day is going to be a card I'm going to want to see. This looks just fine. Just keep all of these. We're going with Avros and Trappers on a three, not the Electro Rig. So, if I'm them in this spot, I Frostbite the 1-2. Like, they just took one damage. With Ice Hill Archer, I think they should Frostbite the 1-2. So then I just have the 3-3 three, three to attack with, and then they block with their 3-1. Like, that's the trade that they want to make. So they just took a point of damage there when they didn't have to. I served for decades, and you call on me now. Yeah, pretty much. Took the bait. All right, we got our other Yeti right there as well. Four health. We're gonna be making these Yetis. Um, so now they're both six sixes. So now the next two cards have to be Yetis. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Stay back. We could attack with the trappers. So this one will be a six six. Then we'll play this other hearth guards. The next one will be a seven seven. I should have done some attacking or blocking with these. All right, GG's. I realized that my hearth card was going to have my Yetis outsize their board. Power of Avaros and hearth guard there. Ooh, we got a, a mirror match with our regions, but they're going Jinx, so we probably got some Poro Cannons, some Professor, and that kind of stuff. I'm going to keep these hearth guards again. That was pretty awesome. Oh, where's my Braum Wave? We got the same board, same sleeve, same emote. Yep, there's the Poro Cannon. Oh, that Avalanche is gonna be good. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Gonna be good. Ooh, that avalanche is gonna be good. I don't really want to just pass and then they pass and I waste my three mana. I can't do that. These cards just don't really matter though. Cool. Three mana, discard a card. Yep, we got an Avalanche now. What have I told you? Stay out of there. What have I told you? Stay out of there. Likely go to attacks, but maybe they don't. Maybe we get to Avalanche again. Yeah, 
Okay, so you don't have to have an enemy to cast that card. Good to know. Okay, got an extra troop. Alright, so not sure how we're gonna deal with this 5 1 elusive. Hopefully, draw another one of our removal spells. Even though we don't have that many removal spells left. Seven. These old eyes still see far and clear. All right, GGs. <clears throat> All right, so our Elnux and Yetis lost to the Poros. For the Call the Wild special with the Elnux, Poros, and Yetis. Poros, yep. Being too elusive. They're too small, too elusive. Our big Elnux and Yetis, too slow to deal with those elusive Poros. All right, pretty cool deck though. It worked out fairly well. Um, Call the Wild, this honestly just isn't that good of a card. Uh, I wish it was, you know, like this. It's, as we saw there, that one turn is three mana, discard a card. <laughs> you really have to try to make this card work with the par Parade Electro Rig and the counterfeit copies and everything like that. But this really could be more than four. Like this could probably be five or six, probably. Um, but I think they they saw with before, remember when Troop of Elnux was 10 cards at first? And so then it was a big part of the metagame at 10 cards. And they were like, we kind of wanted Troop of Elnux to just be like a fun thing that you build around and not like a big part of the metagame that everybody just puts the Elnux package in their deck because 10 cards is too much. I think they, you know, they went through that and so that they then they didn't want to make Call the Wild too good. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, that is Call the Wild. Those of y'all watching it later on YouTube... Um, hit that like button over there and leave any comments, any suggestions. What do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? Um, anything else you want to see on the stream or, uh, you know, anything about this deck or anything else, feel free to leave all those comments. I really appreciate them. But thank you so much for watching some Call of the Wild and I'll see you for the next video.